Good evening. How are you? How are Good you? evening. Good evening. Ready for action? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, my friend. How are you? Fine. Fantastic. Excellent, Norbert. Very good. Yes, welcome on board. Okay, let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Today is November the 25th, and uh, this is class nine. The topic is testing new products conversation. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. <clears throat> These are the specific objectives. <clears throat> This is the class object. The agenda tonight, we're going to have right or wrong, pronunciation, vocabulary describing a product, dialogues and discussion. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're going to be talking about money in the vocabulary. Let's see. Right or wrong? This we're going to be discussing this in a moment. Sentence is right or the sentence is wrong. And we have to decide why. Okay. So first, let me see, uh, what are we going to be checking here to be precise so that you may not be guessing most of the time? We are checking simple present, versus present progressive. Simple present versus present progressive. And just to give you some ideas, the present perfect talks about general truth, things that are true. We say, we think of, we talk about things that are true all the time, okay? And we talk about things that are repeated and you say repeated when? repeated at a regular uh, basis or a regular intervals, like every day, every month, etc. <clears throat> okay, also the present simple talks about permanent things. Permanent things mean things that don't change. Then the present progressive is the opposite. Present progressive talks about temporary situations. It talks about things that are happening in this moment, or it talks about things that are repeated in the same moment. Like you say, mom, she's pulling my hair, okay? Pull, 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 she's pulling my hair, okay? So this is the present. This is what we're going to be working on in a moment. First, let's call roll. Let's see. Anaselmi Chavez. No, not yet. Okay. 
Anadelmi Carranz de Guzmán. Ok. Not yet. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Not yet. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent, my friend. Good. Thank you. Welcome on board. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Don Eduardo is not with us. Okay. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board, señorita. Welcome Thank on board. Thank you. Yeah. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Nice. Welcome on board, my friend. Thanks. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Okay. Don Ignacio. <clears throat> Don Ignacio is not with us, okay. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Nice, Karina, welcome on board. Karina Villeda. Present teacher. Excellent, welcome on board, niñita. Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome on board. Carlita. María Emma de Rosales. Present teacher. Good evening. Hey, welcome on board. How are you doing? I'm fine. Better now? Yes. Excellent. Yes. It's very nice to see you. It's very nice to have you here. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Don Marvin, not here yet. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Miriam, no. Miriam Gómez. Not yet. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Yes, welcome on board. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Don René? No, not yet. Okay. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Don Richard? Not yet. Okay. Yamira Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Rudy Josué Flores. Welcome on board. On the hammock. Not teacher, that's Jose Carlos. <laughs> hammock sleeping right now. Okay. Nah. Just testing. Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, Ana Selmi Chévez. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Welcome. Okay. So, Rudy is right. Very good. Let's begin. Let's begin. Tonight, we don't have eight people. Mm -hmm. Eight people are not here yet. Okay. Probably later. Well, let's continue. Simple present versus pro present progressive. Here we're going to be, you say, teacher, what's the relationship with what we're doing? Actually, if we are evaluating products, we give opinions, but we also give facts about the products, etc. So we need the simple present or the present progressive to discuss. Them. Okay, that's the reason and that's the relationship that they have. Okay, my friends, I'm going to send you to the group so that you may discuss whether these sentences are right or wrong. If they are right, put a check. If they are wrong, suggest a correction. Okay, if they are wrong, correct them. Here we go. <clears throat> This is page eight. 
eight, eight in the class. Okay, yes, I sent you several documents. It's because we're going to be using those documents in class. And I want you to, to take, I mean, I wanted you to take a look at them, okay? Also, right now that we're beginning, I would like uh, to ask everybody to do the homework at night. I have some people that are very good in class, but the homework, no homework. And my dear ones, if you don't do the homework, unfortunately on the neck, remember that I don't give you on the neck. I only collect the grades, but if there are no grades to collect, what will I collect? Is it like if I go to an apple tree, if there are no apples, I don't pick any apples. So, but if there are, I pick the ones that I find. So the same happens with your grades. You do your homework at night. I check them up and then I, I write them, okay? So, uh, teacher, can we do the homework that were from last week? Yes. Yes, do them. Okay. I'm going to be checking what progress you have been making, okay? Um, you will say, teacher, but tomorrow you don't have to write the grades. No, that is on Saturday. On Saturday before eight, I have to do it. But I want to make sure that you are doing it. Why do I want you to fail? No, I want you to learn and pass, okay? And pass, yes, and pass. And to pass the course, <laughs> okay. So let's go to the groups. We are only 16, so <clears throat> inactive. active. So I'm going to create. Yeah. Yes. I hope, I hope you are well in, in coming too late. I'm here. Excellent, Don Ignacio. You are welcome, Don Ignacio, okay? Thank you. Yes, no problems. It's nice that you are with us. I'm happy to have you, okay? Welcome, my friend. In a moment, I'm going to write that you are present, okay? Yes? Okay, right now we're going to go to the groups. We are 16 yeah. people. So means that wow. we're 16 in reality. Me mm -hmm. uh, are 16, but active 15. So I'm going to make five groups. Nah, four groups. If I make five, uh, yeah, I'm going to make five. What? Anyhow. Here we go. The groups are open. They are opening. Page eight. And the two use uh, glasses. <laughs> yeah, I confuse. Who is Karina? <laughs> Who is Karina with glasses? <laughs> uh -huh. Who is Karina is participating? <laughs> okay. Okay. I... Ah, teacher, can you? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Share. You may share. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. And you see? 
Can you watch? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, the instructions say, are this, are this sentence right or wrong? wrong. Explain. I'm number one. Water boils at same, uh, 100 degrees. This is activity for this yes. moment, yeah. Yeah, Are these Volu volunteers. Way? Volunteers. No, you, you, you <laughs> can, Anna. Okay, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. For me, it's okay. Yes, yeah, I agree with okay. you. That's okay. Well, okay. And the alcohol uh, and the, the alcohol is different temperature. The boils, the boils, you know. Yes. Okay. Then another, the second. Mm. What are boils? Her beard. Well, Tony, don't. Yes. The water boils. The water boils. Mm. You throw it up. Can you turn it up? Turn it up. The water boils. Hi, teacher. Hello, my friend. How are you? Um, a little tired. I imagine so. Yes. Tomorrow is Friday. Then you can rest Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. More energy. Yeah, today I supply the vaccine. The... Oh, really? Yeah. The first, the, the third me? dosage. The, the first. One, two, then three. Yeah, the third. Third, yeah. Excellent. Yes, it's, it's no, no, no problem. No. No. Only the arm hurts a little bit. Yes. For the rest of the afternoon, next day is fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very good. That's the cure. Mm -hmm. what, what is the sample for the sentence? Okay, these are the sentences that you have to discuss. What you yeah. have to do is decide if the, the tense that they find, that you find the sentences in is the correct one. If you think, uh, just to say something, if you think that water boils at 100 degrees yes. Celsius is correct, you put a check. Okay. If you think that it should be water is boiling, at 100 degrees Celsius, that then you make a correction. Okay, so it's your decision. Remember that the simple present talks about facts, things that are generally true. Okay, also permanent situations and things that are repeated day by day or month by month, etc. And okay. uh, the present progressive talks about things that are happening at the moment of speaking, they are temporary or they are talking about repetitions or you are talking about, a, let's say something that happening is happening a specific point, right, in time. So basically that is. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Well, but uh, one hundred degrees Celsius. Yes, T is correct. Okay, and don't say it's, it's right. It's right, yes. Okay, number one is right. 
the mm -hmm. number two, the water balls. Can you throw throw it off? Mm -hmm. The water balls. Can you turn it off? And yes, the right. Uh, it's right. Why? 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 Is is for me is very confused. <laughs> Why? Is is an action and is an action in a in a, in a question? No, in a oh, what the. Oh, uh, no, I, I, about. but in that case, what do they talking about? It's not, a uh, what do, what, what they, what do they are talking about? What did you say, sorry? Can you hear those people? What do they talking about? Mm. Oh. Well, maybe yes. Um, we can continue with five. Mm -hmm. The moon goes round the the earth in about uh, twenty seven days. The moon goes round the earth in about. 27 days. 27 days. What is the meaning? Earth. Earth is the, the war. Oh, okay. The, war. the moon goes around the, the earth, the war. But I think that's correct as it's a simple person, it's permanent. Mm -hmm. Agree with you. Um, the moon is going. Well, the moon is seven days. I think it's right because. Oh, I confused. <laughs> I think it's wrong. Do you think it's wrong? Mm. When is going to stop? No, never. <laughs> never. And what would you use when the moon, never stop? The moon is going. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Remember, present when never stop. And present continues when Finish the action. Uh huh. Well, in a moment, finish. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So that, that is that's number is, five. It's right. It's right because never stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, Karina Diaz, number six. I must go now. I get late. It gets. <laughs> It gets late. 
Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is right or wrong? In verb, the verb go. Going. <laughs> Going, do you think it's going? Uh -huh. I must go in. Must. <laughs> the verb. I, <laughs> I think it's right. <laughs> I really think. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with that girls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you. happened with late? <laughs> hmm. Okay, I must go now. Getting late. Why yeah. it? Um, because está siendo tarde. It's, ah, okay. It's getting late. Okay. All right. Right. Number seven. I usually going to like you go to work going to work. Mm. I mean, like, <laughs> for me it's right. My case is right. Yeah. Because I have a car and Yes, because it's um, the frequency is uh, yeah. in, in this case, so express the action, the moment is an expression for your regular activity. Or yes. Maybe, or maybe change the verb. I usually go to work by car. Not because it's information general to about your routine. routine. Yes, uh -huh. it's not an action that you are doing. Yeah. Okay, number eight. Hurry up. It's time to leave. Okay, I come. Hurry up. It's time to leave. Okay, I okay, come. Hurry up. It's time to leave. Okay, I am coming. I come. It's time to leave. Maybe, maybe okay, James, I'm coming. Maybe James I'm coming. Come. Coming. I'm coming. Maybe. Maybe. Hurry up, thank you, leave. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> yes, for me, it's, I'm coming because it's an action that you are calling me, so I'm going. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm coming. coming. Estoy llegando. Yeah. Hurry, hurry up, it's time to leave. Okay, I am coming. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Okay, Number I'm nine. Coming. I hear Here you, you go. We got a new job. How did you get on? Hi, teacher. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I Hi. Ready. You finished? Yeah. Excellent. Nice. In a moment, then, we're going to go to the main group. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome, my friend. Yeah. Three. 
number are you doing right now? Number three, teacher. Number three. Okay. Yes. Good. Teacher. <laughs> yes, tell me, my friend. Mm, I am confused. The question. About what? Um, uh, these are the, are these Sentence and write or word. Explain. Mm -hmm. Is the is is the ordenarla so o solo de ponerle correcto o incorrecto. Okay. Uh, at the beginning, I explained that what you are working on is simple present versus present progressive. You are going to read the sentence. If the sentence is in the correct tense, you put a check. The sentence is wrong, you have to suggest a correction. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. That's what you have to do. Okay. Is the, okay. In the number two, I think that is, look, that man trying to open the door of your car because is present continue? No. Number two? Number three. And number three. Yeah, look, if you see, you, you tell someone, look, to call the person's attention, right? About uh -huh. yeah. something that happens every day or something that is happening right now. Okay. What, when that man, is person continue. That uh -huh. man trying. Yeah, that man is trying to open uh, the door of your car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. That man is trying yes. to open the door of your car. Okay. It's trying. To open the door of your car. Okay. Number four. Can you hear? Uh, good evening. We uh, we were finished. You finished, senorita. Excellent. Nice, nice. Perfect. I think we are finished. <laughs> Correct or not? Maybe. Yeah, we're going to go back to the main group and we're going to check together. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Excellent. Everybody, everybody's out, so let's continue. We, what do you think about number one? It's right. Number one is correct. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. It's correct. So we say water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Always. Well, it depends on the altitude, right? If you are higher, the temperature is different. But normally, this is standard. Water boils at one degree Celsius. Okay. Number two, the water boils. Can you turn it off? OK, if you are asking someone to turn it off, means that it's on. And if it is on, is it boiling now or it boils all the time? Hmm? 
-hmm. The water is full. The water is boiling, right? So this boiling, is boiling, right? Because it's an action that is happening actually. Uh -huh, exactly. So this is wrong. And we have to write a correction. Saying is is boiling. The water is boiling. Mm. Number three. When do you say look? When something already happened, or when something is happening in the moment. Hey, look! Your father is coming over there. Look. It's happening in the moment. Amen. Calling people's attention to the fact that something is happening. So in this case, you say, look, that means what? He's trying. He's trying. trying. That man is trying. So... Is trying the correct answer. Number four, can you hear those people? What do they talk about? What do they talk about all the time or in this particular moment? When do you hear them? If you <clears throat> can hear them now, do they talk every day or are they talking right now? Here is the verb in the present, so the action is now. Yep. In this case, what are they talking about? Perfect. Can you hear? Okay. Listen is pay attention. Here is an ability. Hey, can you hear? What? What are they talking about? Okay, so this sentence is incorrect. Yes. This question is incorrect. And this. Okay. Are they talking? What are they talking about? What are they talking about? Number five. The moon goes round the earth in about 27 days. Here, instead of round, it has to be around, not round. So the sentence is wrong. Not because of the tense, but because it has to be around. Round is an adjective that means redondo. And go around is ir alrededor. So this is wrong. So we say, what's the correction? Around. The moon goes around the earth in about 27 days. Mm -hmm. I say 29 mm -hmm. days. 29 days. But it says here 27 days. Actually, I say 29. In reality, 29 days and four hours and I don't know how many minutes. Okay. Let's see. What about six? I, I must go now. Is it correct? I must go now. It gets late. I think it's wrong, teacher. It's wrong, right? The sentence is wrong. Mm -hmm. What's the correct form? Uh, it's getting late. It's getting late. Uh huh. Yeah, it gets late all the time, but I have to go because it's getting late now. I have to go now because now it's getting late. Uh -huh. So, it's getting late. Okay. I usually go to work by car. What do you think about this sentence? I usually go to work by car. When you use frequency adverbs, you are talking about, like the name says, frequency adverbs. You're talking about how often things happen. You're saying that things happen 
frequently. There is a repetition. If there is a repetition periodically, we're talking about what? Simple present, right? So this is the simple present. So is the sentence correct? Yes. 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 Absolutely, it's correct. And the next one, number eight, hurry up, it's time to leave. Okay, okay, I come. I come every day or right now? I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. So this sentence wrong. wrong. Yes. The correct form is I'm coming. I'm coming. Okie dokie, the next one. I hear you got a new job. How do you get on? How do you get on? How do you get on? Are we talking about something in general? We're talking about this time that you have a new job, these days. How are things, I mean, how things are going these days? How things are going these days? So this sentence is wrong. The correct form is? How did you get on? How are you getting on? I think it's progressing. Yes, how are you getting on means how are things coming for you? How are you doing? Is everything fine? How are you doing? How are you getting on? What is the translation, the Spanish, the expression, are you getting on? Como te está yendo? Ah, okay. It's not como lo tuviste. How are como you? Te está yendo. How are you ah, getting okay. on? And you say, well, eh. Okay. You know, I'm trudging, pushing okay. this. Okay. It's an informal way? Sure, my friend. Yes. Okay. Every time that you see phrasal verbs, this is not formal. Phrasal verbs are used in informal situations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. So uh, let's see. Paul is never late, he's always getting to work on time. Okay. Is never late. This is frequency. It's talking about repetition, right? Teacher, but it says never. I mean, if he's never late, means that he's always late. He's always early, sorry. If he's never late, he's always early. What's the meaning? That he always comes early. That is a repetition. And if there is a repetition, we're talking about what tense? Exactly. Simple present. So the sentence is wrong. He always, okay. Paul is Paul is never late. He always gets to work on time. Simple present. Okay, you might say, teacher, but I have seen the I have seen always with the present progressive. Yes, when you are protesting, you are complaining, you are always pushing me to do things that I don't want. You are always pushing me to do things that I don't want. In protesting, complaining. My neighbor is always throwing garbage on my driveway. What are you doing? Protesting, complaining. Uh -huh. Okay, the next one. They don't get on well. This get on well means no se llevan bien. Okay, they don't get on well. It's another way of saying get along well. They don't get along sure. well. I'm sorry. Um, question related to the sentence number, number 10. Number 10, yes. Yes. Is why is get not get? Oh, 
Why he ah no, you're right. It's a, it's gets no get on. Okay. I'm correcting the tense, but I'm not putting it right, right? Yes, correct. Gets always gets to work. Thanks. Yeah, my mistake. Okay. Then in number eleven, they say they don't get on well. They are always. Uh, what do you think? Is that correct? Is the sentence right? Yeah, sentence is correct. Why is the sentence correct, teacher? If we're using simple present here and here we're using, okay. What happens, this is a general thing. They don't get, a, they don't get along well or they don't get on well. Why not? Ah, because they are always arguing. So that is complaining too, complaining, right? Or because probably they, that is something that is repeated. They are always arguing, they are complaining, okay? They, they are always arguing. Okay, the next one. Birds are flying with very little effort. Only right now or all the time? Flies, okay, the birds are flying with very little effort only now, or do they always fly with very little effort? What do you think? These sentences wrong. Why? Birds always fly. Mm -hmm. Probably we will not. Have Birds fly with very little effort. Okay, okay, doc. This is the idea. These are okay. This is the these are the corrections. Now let's move on. Pronunciation. Practice the pronunciation of the following words. Okay, I sent you a picture. Maybe you saw the picture I sent you with these words. Okay. Listen, and then you're going to repeat. Listen, campaign, procedure, secretary, aging, layout, process. Here has to be warranty, okay? Warranty, emergency, throughout, environment, toll free, whole, sales, customer, variety, or variety, profitable, crisis, churn rate, churn rate, complete, compare, requested, customized, tailored, individuals, money-wise, distribution, target, vegetables, fruit, suitable. Again, campaign, procedure, secretary, aging, layout, process, warranty, emergency, throughout, environment, toll free, whole, sales, customer, variety or variety, profitable, crisis, churn rate, complete, compare, requested, customized, tailored, individuals, money-wise, distribution, target, vegetables, fruit, suitable. Okay, my friends, your turn. Campaign, mm -hmm. procedures, secretary, secretary, and gains. Aging, 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 
Meneyitos say something in in our Japan and Santa Ana and Sonsonate, right? Meneyitos. Okay. Diana Products. Okay. So let me see. Make original sentences using the following expressions. I think that we should mm -hmm, because in this way we will be able to aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, okay. What sentence can we make? <clears throat> I think that we should start right now because in this way we will be able to finish earlier. An example, <clears throat> another one. I think that we should work harder because in this way we will be able to practice more. Okay, it's probable, it's sorry, here is probably, uh -huh. well, see that I was working fast. Fast is not always right. Imagine. Sorry, my friends, it's my mistake here. Let me use, let me put B, yellow. Let me put yellow, yellow, no, yellow. Okay. 
like this. Okay, so we say it's probably wrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe different size. Uh, okay, smaller. Yeah, maybe like this. Yeah, probably. Say it's probably wrong. It's probably wrong to be very strict. But I suppose that uh, if we do it to protect people, it shouldn't be bad, right? It's probably wrong to spend a lot of money, but I suppose that if we do it uh, for the company to grow, it shouldn't be bad, right? Okay. Have you ever considered uh, traveling? Maybe if you do, you might meet very nice people, okay? I've never, what? I never uh, travel, I mean, I mean, I never ridden a camel, but I believe that if I did, I would probably feel dizzy, right? I have never eaten frog legs, but I believe that if I did, I would probably like them. I don't think so. Okay. Now, I'm going to mm -hmm soon because I really like to be able to uh -huh someday. I'm going to start saving money soon because I really like to be able to buy a bigger house someday. I'm going, to, I'm going to start studying harder soon because I really like to be able to graduate. Okay. okay, so something like this. All right. Volunteers. Who would like to make, you choose the one that you want. Don't be afraid, you can do it. I've never tried to give examples before, but I believe that if I did, I would probably like it and start doing it more often. Imagine. Oh? So? I've, I've never been in Brazil. But I believe that if I did, I will probably visit it Amazonas. Okay, I probably visit the Amazons. Okay. Visit the Amazon. Okay, the Amazon. Okay, very good. Sure. Excellent. Nice. Okay, somebody else. Choose the one that you want. Take your time. First, I think we should practice our English because on this way, we, we will be able to next level. We will, we will be able to move, we'll to move to the ne next level. Okay, we'll yes. To move to the next level. Yes, very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Another one. Yes, Kari. The one with the glasses. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. the two have glasses, teacher. Okay, well, no problem then. Uh, practice this in your house. If you think that speaking is a little difficult, do it in the written form. Do it in a written form and then practice saying them. Remember that this will help you to speak better. Okay. Now I'm going to call Ro. I'm going to call Ro. 
and uh, let me see. Cold roll. Okay. Anaselmi Chavez. I'm watching TV. I'm watching TV teacher. No. <laughs> yes, all right. Excellent. Welcome, welcome, boy. So, Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present. Excellent. Welcome on board. And Thank you. Danny, you welcome. Danny Anthony Siwenza Ventura. Okay. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Eh, Jose Carlos Sargueta. Present teacher. Nice. Very good. Eh, Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice, don, don Ignacio. That's very good. Okay. Karina Beatriz Diaz. Present teacher. Very good. And Kari Elizabeth Villena. Present teacher. Nice, nice, very nice. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present teacher. Wonderful, Carlita. Maria. I am here, teacher. Dallas. I am here, no listen by name. Ah, okay, excellent. Maria Emma Catalina de Rosales. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice. Very good. Uh, Marvin Alexander Bonilla. No, Marvin. Okay. Miriam Claribel Jacobo. Miriam. Okay. Irina Iliana Gomez Ortega. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. Very good. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Don René, no with us. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. No, Ricardo, tonight. Okay. Yanira Guadalupe Gómez. Another, another Lupita. Okay. We have another Lupita. Guadalupe del Carmen and Yanira Guadalupe. Okay. Welcome on board. Nice. Okay. And uh, Rudy Josue Flores. Don, Present, teacher. Yes, teacher. You are ready. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, my friend. Let's continue. Danny Fuentes present. <laughs> yes, Danny. You were asleep when I said, Danny, 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 and Danny. Nah, I, I had a sleep. You were, you were eating churritos, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. No problem, my friend. It's okay. Let's continue. Let's continue, my friends. We have like vocabulary. We're going to study the PDFs about money vocabulary that I sent you. Okay, so we're going to begin with the first one. Okay. Money vocabulary. Here are 20 words or terms used to, to talk about money. First, ATM, automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. Automated teller machine. Cash dispenser in UK. Okay. Bank note, a piece of paper, money, or bill, right? One dollar, two dollars, etc. So bank note, bill in the U.S. Amer uh, British say bank note, bill, a bank note, a piece of paper, money, black market, illegal traffic. So we say illegal traffic in officially controlled commodities such as foreign currency. Okay, or organs, human organs in the black market, or cameras, television, cell phones, etc., in black market. 
bureau, okay, bureau the the change we say or bureau the the change would be in that case is establishment where currencies of different countries may be exchanged. A bureau the change, you change uh, dollars to euros or to pounds, pounds to euros, uh, colones to dollars. <laughs> now they colones don't exist anymore. Somebody collected them all. Okay, cash, coins or bills, right? Not checks. Okay, only the paper money or the coral, the, the coins. Cash is actual, actual money paid as opposed to credit. Credit is the one they use the cards to pay for, right? And cash is when you have the money there with you. Cash dispenser, this is the ATM. Cashier, a person dealing with cash transactions in a bank, store, etc. Normally, cashiers are at supermarket, movie theaters or stadiums, but uh, the ones at the bank are normally called bank tellers, bank tellers. Okay, so I'm going to put it here for you to see. Only that probably will need different color. Yellow is not suitable for this. So see, bank teller, okay. Now, my dear ones, coin, a piece of metal money, circular, right? So currency, the money in general, you, in general use or circulation in any country. You say, what's the currency of France? Well, it used, used to be francs, but now they are euros, okay? Currency, debt, the pronunciation is debt. Money owed by one person to another. If you lend me $5, I owe you $5. So my debt is $5. Exchange rate. Exchange rate, the original exchange rate was $1. Let's say, One dollar was equal to, sorry, was equal to, I cannot write colones because the symbol doesn't exist anymore. But I'm going to write a letter C and then I'm going to cheat on this. Let me see, colones. So 8.5. Eight seventy-five. Okay, so let me see how am I going to change this by doing this. Okay. Colones. Maybe something like that. It looks more like euros, but okay. Colones. Eight seventy-five. Okay, my friends. Then foreign exchange. What is foreign exchange? The currency of other countries compared to our currency. Okay, hard currency, currency that will probably not fall in value and is readily accepted. Currency. Euros, for example, are established money. Invest, okay? Uh, inversion is investment, no inversion. Inversion is darle vuelta, invertir, invertir de dar vuelta, okay? So something is standing, you put it upside down, inverted. But that is inversion. inversion. Investment is money that you used to buy something that will give you money later. 
to put money to profit in the business, land, etc. Invest. Investment. Legal tender. Currency that no that cannot legally be refused in payment of a debt. Okay? Like if someone tells you, this is real tender, legal tender, sorry. This is legal tender. They have to accept it. Okay? Petty cash. A cash fund for small everyday expenses. People say, caja chica, right? So. Soft currency. Currency that will probably fall in value and is not readily accepted. Okay. An example, Bitcoin. Even though Bitcoin here is, is gaining big name, okay? Let me see, speculate. What is speculate? Buying or the buying of foreign currency, land, etc., for rapid gain. Example, um, someone sells me his or her house at $27,000 and I sell it at $29,000. So quickly I earn $2,000. I'm speculating in that case. Okay, also, this is usually used about uh, staple, staple food, such as beans, rice, etc. that some people, when um, there is a, scar a scarcity of these products, they collect them, keep a lot. And when it's expensive, they sell it at that price. Okay. Transaction. An, an exchange, a deal, usually commercial transaction. To transact is the verb, okay? To make a transaction, to make a payment, to make a draw, to make different transactions. At the bank, they tell you what transaction are you going to perform? Okay, so this is money vocabulary. Now let's get to the other money vocabulary. Okay, an account. What's an account? A record of money a person deposits in a bank. ATM, automatic teller machine, also known as hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Because you go to the wall and from the wall you get your money, right? So hole in the wall, they say. Hoyo en la pared. So that is ATM. Okay. They say, hey, is there a hole in the wall nearby? Uh, Floyd. Ah, yes, that's right. Yeah. Balance. The difference between credits and debits. Cash. Balance. Bank. Building in which commercial banking is transacted. Bank charges. Money paid to a bank for the bank services. Bankers draft a check drawn on the bank or building society or itself, right? Against either a cash deposit or funds taken directly from your own bank account. So it's what they withdraw. Barter, to trade without using money, means I give you beans and you give me, I give you beans and you give me rice. Exchange product for, for product or exchange goods for goods. In Spanish was trueque, right? So I give you something and you give me something else. Like uh, I give you something uh, equivalent to the same price and you give me something else. Example, I change a tablet for a cell phone and they are the same price. Borrow to ask for the temporary use of money on the condition of repayment and at a set rate or interest. Okay, branch, local office or bureau of a bank. Building society, a building society is like a bank, but it is owned by its member, savers and borrowers, and not by shareholders, 
its traditional purpose was to lend money to individuals to purchase or remortgage their homes. So building society is like a, like a cooperative, right? So building society. Then we have cash flow. I'm going to just, you study them in your house because I already ran out of time with this. Okay, so continue reading them. Pay, pain, pain, sleep, etc. Okay, so Lululu this. And we move to the next step because we don't have time. Okay, we get back to the topic. Why do you think it's necessary to test stocks before they are released to the market? Opinions, my friends. Why do you think it's necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Yes, Jose Carlos. I'm not sure, but I guess that I think that it's necessary to test a product before release it to the market because I need to be sure about what I'm trying to sell them. Because if my product has a mistake, mm -hmm. nobody will nobody will visit, right? So I need to oversee it before. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. They will they will sue me because I am selling something that doesn't comply with the specifications that I promised. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else. Why do you think it is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Um. Because it's the best way to don't have uh, problems in the future when the launch product. Yes, excellent. It is the best way to be sure that we don't have problems with the product. Very good. Number two. Teacher. Yes, Carlita. Oh, yes. Because it's your cover letter, the first product. Yes, of course, your product, I mean, and then you have to, if you do it badly, next time, they will ignore it. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, thank you, yes, very good. Number two, once the test been performed on the product, what's the next step? Conductor. When we tested the product, what is the first thing that we have to do? Maybe analyze the results. Excellent. Analyze the results. If the product is feasible or not. If the product has many technicalities that need to be fixed. Rethink, rethink the concept. But reason is necessary. Okay, excellent. Number three, if too many flaws are found in the product, do we still launch it? Not right. If we it has too many, teacher, what's a flaw? Defect. If we have too many defects, that's too many problems here, too many glitches. Um, do we launch it? No, we don't. No, we don't. The next one. Is it expensive to test a product? What is it? Is it expensive to test a product? Yes. Why? 
Hoy es un test de testers. The testers keep the test keep the product. So you pay for them. Or sometimes the testers destroy the product. In Teacher is part of investment. It's part of the business. Exactly. It's part of the investment of the business. And it's expensive. Uh -huh. Is one of the expensive parts. Okay, isn't it more expensive to fail and have to discard the whole idea? What do you think? Of course, it is more expensive to fail. But it's necessary to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is more expensive. Why? Because it destroys your reputation as well as the product. Into or, or lose their investment. Yes, yeah. you lose your investment, but you lose your customers too. And to, to recover from a situation like that, it's more expensive. So for that reason, it saves time and money to test the product. Have it's you ever part, have part you ever of the investment? Sorry, Anita. It's part of the investment. Sure. To the test of yep. the product. Uh -huh. It's part of the investment. Many people don't consider it when they have to do it, but it is part of the test, part of the investment. Okay. Have you ever tested a product? Yes, I yes, I have. Because of time, we're going to get to two dialogues that you're going to be practicing in the small groups. One says, okay, say, listen and practice the following dialogue. Let's see. Hey, son. Come on, wake up. Don't you have a lot of work to do? Yeah, but I don't think, um, but don't you think that a rested mind is less prone to make mistakes? Give it a problem, will you? Sorry, son, but this product is your brainchild. You remember I warned you that it would be a lot of work and that I wasn't gonna work overtime? Now, come on, wake up and continue working on it if you want to be in the results before somebody else steals your idea. Oh, God, I'm coming. Now, can you show me some graphics on your progress? Look, this is the main design, and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey, great. Let's get on with it. Hey, so my friend, this is the first style. Second dialogue, okay, it says, we're ready to test our new product. What, what do we have to do? I think we need to choose a testing method and the siding handling test okay. is the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it and taste it. What about the other variables? With the be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. After all, it's your product. Great. As for the method, I think that monadic will be better because consumers can eat, taste our product first and then rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa's sandwich. You're learning, son. We have a lot of work to do. 
We need to talk about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience has to be our target buyers, right? Marketing, et cetera. Okay, so this is the conversation and you're going to be discussing it in the groups right now. All right. Okay, let's see. The groups are opening. Please practice the conversations, page 16 and 17. Emma, if you can, you may enter. Delmi is alone in her group. Okay. Your graphic on our progress. Okay, look, this is the main design, and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Mm, hey, looks great. Let's get on with it. With it. Okay, Karina Diaz, your turn to participate. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Hey, stop. Come on, wake up. Do you have a lot of Don't work you? to do? And me, Alejandro. Okay. okay, Karina, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, that, but but don't you think that our reset mind is less prone, prone to make a Rested mind? A rest is less prone. Is less prone to make mistakes. Give it a break, will you? Sorry, son, but this problem is your brain child. Do you remember I wondered you that I would be a lot of work and that I wasn't going to work overtime? Now, come on. Wake up and continue working on it. On it, if you want you, you want to see any result before somebody else steals your idea. Okay, Dad, I'm coming. Now, can you show me some graphic on our progress? Okay, look, this is the main design, and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey, it looks great. Let's get in. Let's get on with it. Finish. Now you are Alejandro and Rudy. Okay. Hey, son. Come on, wake up. Don't you have a lot of work to do? Yeah, that. But do you think 
Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Uh, you're on a. Dark. Dark. You, and, and Alejandro. Yeah. Hey, son. Come on, wake up. Don't you have a lot of work to do? Yeah, that. But don't you think that a resting mind is less prone to make a mistake? Give it a break, will you? Sorry, son, but this process is your brain child. Do you remember? I warned you that it could be a lot of work and that I wasn't going to work overtime. Now, coming on. Wake up and continue working on it if you want to see any results before somebody else steals your idea. Okay, then I am coming. Now, can you show me some graphics on our progress? Okay. Look, this is the main design, and this and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey. Looks great. Let us get on with it. Now, eh, I, Jose Carlos. It's your patient. Do you remember I warned you that his wall be a lot of work and that I wasn't going to work overtime? Now, come on, wake up and continue working on it. You want to see any results before somebody else steal your idea? Okay, Dad, I'm coming. Now, can you show me some graphic on our progress? Okay, look, this is the main design, and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey, looks great. Let's get out well. Let's get up with it. Okay. Share are, uh -huh. the the they. Hey son, come on, wake up. Don't you have a lot of work to do? Yeah, that I don't you do think that a reset means in less from to make mistake? Even a break, will you? Sorry, son, but this product is to brain child. Do you remember I war warned you that it will be a lot of work and that I wasn't go going to work over time? Now, come on. Wake up and continue working on it if you want to see a result before somebody, somebody else steal your idea. Okay, Dad, I'm coming. Now, can you show me some graphic on all progress? Okay. Look at this and the main design, and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey, looks great. Let's let's get on with with it. Okay, we continue with the next uh, the next yellow yellow. Um, Okay. We are going, we, I am going to do Alejandro and Lupita can do a Let's make a mistake, give her a brace, will you? Sorry, Sam, but this product is your brain shape. Do you remember I warned you that it would be a lot of work and that I wasn't going to work overtime? Now, come on, wake up and continue working, working of it if you want to see any result before somebody else is still your, your idea. Okay, that I am coming. Now, 
Can you show me some graphic on our progress? Okay, look, uh, this is the main design and these are the ingredients to use. What do you think? Hey, it looks great. Let's go on with it. Okay, excuse me. Um, we are ready to test our new product. What do you have to do? First, I think we need to show a testing method and design and handling test will be the best option because it's a lot of customer to see the product. Feel it, smell, smell it and taste it. What about the other variable? Will do the product be brain dead or no? It let you decide on that. So after all, it is your product. Great, uh, great. As for the method and deciding how it can, will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product do? Will the product be branded or not? I let you decide on that, son. After all, it's your product. Great. After the method, method. I think the manari will be better because consumer and eat and taste our product first and then rate it. I find it more coherent for all new products to pop a sandwich. Your learning zone, we have a lot of work to do. We need to talk about our potential customers, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Finish. So I need to complete the next page, teacher, or after the, the main session. We're going to do it together. In a moment, we're going to go there. Okay. Yes, in a moment, we're going to go there. I'm just waiting for the others to finish too. You okay. can continue practicing meanwhile. Okay. Will be better because customers can eat and taste our product first and then read it. And I find it more coherent, coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. Your learning, so we have a lot of work to do. We need to talk about our potential customer, the prototype, our target audience, maker, marketing, etc. Marketing. Okay. Marketing. Marketing. Teacher, if we need to give the oh. answer for this question. No, we're going to do it in uh, a moment because okay. you finished, I'm going to check if the others have finished too. Then when we are in the big room, we're going to do it, okay? Okay. Yes. Continue the practice. Yeah, continue practicing. Okay. And now, Jose Carlos and Jose Ignacio. I don't... We are we are ready to test our new product. What do we have to do? First, I think we need to show us a testing method and design and handling test would be the best option because it allow customer to see the product, feel it, it smell it, and test it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? It let's decide on that song. After all, it's your product. Great. As for the metal, I think the monadic will be better because customers can eat and taste all product first and then rate it. I find it more coherent 
for all new product, the papa sandwich. You're learning, you're learning some. We have a lot of work to do. We need to talk to you about our potential customers. I find it's more current for our new product, the papa sandwich. You're learning some will house a lot of work to, to do. We need to talk about our potential customers, the prototype, or Okay, it seems that we are only 15, so for, well, actually 14, because, yeah, with me, 15. There's some people that have left. Well, okay, there are some words to check on the first and second dialogues. Come on, come on, come on is a phrase for encouragement. When someone is, uh, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, right? Come on, come on, come on. Wait, well, you, you remember the Beatles, right? Come on, come on, so <laughs> come on, okay? And then wake up, wake up little Susie, wake up. So wake up, okay, wake up. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's do it. Let's get on with it. You see, get on in many expressions with many meanings, right? Let's get on with it. Okay, over here in the other dialogue, we have some expressions, sight, handling, coherent, coherent, coherent. After coherent, we have a prototype, prototype, coherent, prototype, marketing. Let me see, there was another ingredients, but I don't see the ingredients, uh, where did the other one, right? Ingredients, 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 okay? What are the ingredients for a pupusa? Cheese and beans and pork. Beans, pork, lorok, sometimes rice, and duck. rice, sometimes corn. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the pupusa, mwah, delicious, right? Of course, well, it depends who, who can make the beans and what mm. cheese you use. But yes, ingredients, those are the ingredients. Okay. Excellent. Now let's go over the answers. What types of testing methods do they mention? Monadic test. Uh, the monadic test. Uh -huh, they talk about sighting and handling. Exactly. Sighting and handling and monadic test. Those are tests or the types of testing methods that they mentioned. 
what testing method will they implement for the Papa sandwich and why? Which is more coherent? The monadic test. The monadic test, right? Okay. Yeah. What are other steps they must take before the product is ready? Other steps? Test testing method. Test Use texting method. Yes. Other steps they need to do it, to take are to talk about the potential customers, the prototype, the, the target market, the marketing process, right? So those are the other things. Okay. Now this is opinion. It's not in the reading. Okay. How long do you think creating the prototype will take if we're talking about a sandwich? How long? How long can it take? How long does it take you to make a sandwich? The new type of the sandwich. Yeah. How long do you think it can take? Depends on the <laughs> maybe some weeks. I go to the supermarket. I buy the well, so I buy the different yes, things. But uh, if you create a new product, it's not only uh, uh, buy the ingredients and do it because you need to have a plan. Sure, but here supposedly the concept is ready, the plan is ready. So if you have the plan and you have everything, how long do you think creating the prototype will take? Maybe an hour. They have hour. To chop the vegetables, they will put vegetables in it. Okay. Five minutes, maybe. Sorry? Five minutes. Five minutes, right? Could be five minutes. If they already have to prepare the cold slow, if they put cold slow in the middle. But depends on the type of the product because for a specific prototype requires a uh, uh, um, investment. Uh, long, what do you say? What are we uh, talking about? Sandwich. For example, no, for, maybe in the food is, is the investment is cheaper. Or require few uh, investment. And how do how do people test uh, food? Have you seen in the supermarket? Do they get the whole sandwich, I, or do they get pieces? Pieces? No, pieces only. Only pieces the only the, the little pieces. Only the taste. Little. <laughs> you to try. <laughs> Okay, to entice okay. the mouse. Yeah. Maybe you have seen at, um, what's the name? Uh, let me see, Price Mart. You have seen at oh, Price yeah. Mart on Sundays, especially <laughs> at noon. Yes. That you can, you're hungry and you're mo moving about. They yeah. You eat a piece, then you go pick up another piece drink something, continue walking, eat another. Until um, the cup of wine. <laughs> the bolita, go for the vodka, the, okay, the cups of vodka, and they pass like about 10 times in order to get a little, you know. Happy. <laughs> tip. Uh -huh. Sure, of course. Sure. Yeah, That's yes, I agree. That's another thing. So how difficult is it to make a special sandwich? How difficult is it? 
if you are an expert cook, how difficult can it be? If you have the idea, you have the concept, you know what ingredients and you know the process, how difficult can it be? I understand that it's difficult for you and for me because we, we are not experts in that. Maybe the process is simple. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But Maybe. for my mom, making a sandwich, piece of cake. <laughs> piece of cake. Panini. <laughs> yes, of course. Very mm. Okay, so how difficult can it be? Not so difficult, right? Okay, excellent. Number six, how much do you think this sandwich will cost? Depends, you say, think about the bread, the normal size of the loaf of bread, bimbo, lido, I don't know. So I'm making- Two dollars. Okay. So? Two dollars. Two dollars. I'm agree with you, two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. yeah, I would not pay more for more than two dollars. Okay. Uh, sandwiches usually cost like a dollar, 125. If it's in a cafeteria, yes, two dollars. Mm -hmm. 250. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even is expensive, but okay, you pay it. 250. Yeah, you pay it. You pay five dollars, seven dollars, eight dollars for a um, subway mm -hmm. and pay two dollars fifty for a sandwich. Okay. Or now, maybe teacher, or maybe dependent of the quality of the product. Uh -huh. For example, the cheese. Are cheap and expensive, you know. Sure. They're different. But if it's yeah. business, what do you think people use? The cheap or the expensive? Yeah, in my house, we prepare too expensive, you know. Of course, but in your house. The quality, the quality, the quality yeah. But in a business, they have. <laughs> Sometimes cutting corners is not a good idea. To cut corners means to, to reduce the budget so, so badly that it affects the quality of the product. Cut corners. Cutting corners is not a good idea, but some people do it. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Do you think that this will, will be a success? Will the sandwich be a success? Why not? Yeah, why not? Why do you think it's called Papa Sandwich? Do you think that it has potatoes in the middle? Or is it referring to the daddy? Papa daddy <laughs> or Papa Potatoes? <laughs> has to be the daddy, right? Not the potato. <laughs> okay. So. All right, let's continue, my dear ones. We're going to do the last one. We're going to read what we can of the best practices for the new product testing. As much as I could research because the original suggested reading doesn't exist anymore, at least not for free. And I wouldn't pay for it. It costs like, uh, $5.99 or something like that. And they say, mm, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna pay for that, <sighs> right? So no, but don't worry. Here we have one, I sent it to you. It says best practices for new product testing. I'm going to read one page so that you may read the rest together. So this, well, not one page, but this part, and you're going to read in, in the group as much as you can. A friendly user interface and simple menu make training faster and easier. Source, Comp10 Industries. 
At some point, manufacturers will find themselves in this situation. They have to test their new product in manufacturing. In manufacturing, the question is how to do it. What equipment should they choose? What's the best device to use to ensure good results? How can production be validated without getting the boss upset about the budget? Just as process, uh, the produce or a product may vary. The process of obtaining measurements and data may have variation and produce def defects. Operators should evaluate the test method, measuring instruments and the entire process of obtaining measurements to ensure the integrity of the data used for analysis and to evaluate the implications of measurement error for decisions made about the product or process. So then consider, consider the following steps. Select the correct measurement type and approach. Assess the measuring device. Assess procedures and operators. Assess any measurement interactions and define the data analysis. These steps will help you keep measurement and certainty under control and ensure a good job is done. A spring tested with a manual test stand, a force gauge, digital travel scale, and self-leveling plate source contact industry. Okay, so this is the example that they are going to give you. It's a spring. Teacher, what's a spring? A resorte. Resorte, spring. Okay, like the springs for beds, the springs for different uh, sofas, armchairs, etc. So, all right, you're going to read the next. So let's go to the groups. Couple, you will have like six or seven minutes. Seven minutes I will give you. Group. Yes, it's Karina's group. Um, yes. Karina's team. We're going to have no participation. Yes. Uh, I think in uh, one Karina participation right now. <laughs> Okay, este, Rudy, can you yes. este, scream for the text, for the reading no. in the group? Karina, Karina is, is sharing. I, I try to, that I download, I didn't download. Is that... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Which page? Be, begin with the first page, this one from oh, okay. uh -huh. as much as you can read when the time dies, I will let you know. Okay. Rudy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so just because I'm sleeping, you are calling me to, to ask me to read. <laughs> now you read faster. <laughs> Okay, best practices for the new product testing. A friendly user interface and simple menu, menu makes training faster and easier. Source content. Okay, Jose Ignacio. Jose Ignacio. Can you up, up the, the page? Can you scroll it up? Okay. It's okay for you, Jose Ignacio. Uh -huh. That's uh, right. Okay, 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 okay. Using uh, 
using a standard test method, such as one published, published by a respected standards organization, is a good place to start. Nevertheless, Sometimes it is more useful to modify an existing test method or to develop a new one. Again, documentation and full disclosure are necessary. Then make an exact description of the specimens and test methods. All of the facts. Operator shows evaluate the test metal, measuring instrument, and then entire process of opening measurement or answer the interview on the day used for analysis and to evaluate the application of measurement. For decision made about the product or process. So consider the following steps. Select the correct measurements type and approve. Assess the measures design. Assess procedures and operate operators. Assess any measurements interaction define the data data anal analysis this continue these steps will help keep measurement uh, a spring tested with a manual test stains a uh, forces digital driver scale um, cell labeling, labeling place sure con the industrias excuse me uh, continue select the correct measurement and approach first back to the basics say and write what needs to be complete, completed. Quality management system usually require full documentation of the procedures used in the in a test. It is vital for all interested parties, parties to understand and agree on the method of obtaining data and making measurements. It is common for a physical property such and forced to be strongly affected by the method of testing and measuring. So it is vital to fully document experiments and measurement and to provide new definition. Continue. Using an strong this method suits as as one published by our, res our respect structured item had several components test method may have a several levels of connection. That result of a material should connect with a text of a component made from that material. The result of a component, component should connect with a performance texting of a complete item. Result of laboratory performance texting should connect with a fight performance. Uh, wants to read the, the next? Rudy? Okay. Yes, this okay. method often are
Carla Heiva sleep. Yes, I am tired. Okay, you can do it. Everybody, do it. Everybody's out. Okay, let me see. I'm going to give you some this because this is dangerous language. Only with this we finish. Asses is the plural of, plural of as. As means different things. <laughs> can be a donkey or can be a part of the body. Okay, as. So this is plural is asses, asses. Why do I tell you this? Because teacher, you are malcriado. No. It's not because of that, because I don't want you to be in trouble. Okay, here, the word that you saw is assess, no asses, assess. Teacher, like in Spanish, you do, yes. Como lo haces, assess, okay, assess. So, asses versus assess. Please remember, uh, there is a difference. Assess is something dangerous. Assess is the correct word. Okay. It's important that we do it well. Let's continue, my friends. See, let me call roll. But before calling roll, because people don't listen, Okay, people don't listen to me when you say, teacher, don't, you didn't say, I'm going to say before. Today is Thursday, the 25th. Danny Anthony Siwenza is going to be with us, okay, with me today. So, Danny, all right, now let's see. Anaselmi Chévez. Present teacher. Anadelmi Carranza de Guzman. Present teacher. Nice. Danny Anthony Siwenza. Dennis Adalberto Fuentes. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández Molina. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Thank you, teacher. Jose Carlos Sargueta Romero. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Norberto Velázquez. Teacher. Excellent, my friend. Karina Beatriz Díaz. Present teacher. Nice. Karina Elizabeth Villeda. Present teacher. Great. Carla Be Verónica Vázquez. Present teacher. Nice, Carlita. Eh, Maria Emma de Rosales. Present teacher. Very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Yes, say Marvin. What happened? We we'll say, you didn't come to. Yes, you can. Maria Daniel Jacob. Miriam Claribel Jacob. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am present. Oh. Miriam, okay. Pedrina Iliana Gómez. Okay. Eh, Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Don René is not with us, okay. So, Ricardo Alexis is not with us either. So, Janita Guadalupe Gómez. Nice, very good. And uh, Rudy Josue, the teacher. Excellent teacher. Excellent, my friend. Very good. So, okay. My dear niñitos, I'm going to start sharing. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I would like you to read the documents that I sent you. Take some time to read them, 
they will help you with vocabulary, with ideas and stuff. Okay, right now go and do the homework. Some people are falling behind. They participate beautifully here in class, but they are not doing the homework. And uh, it is sad. Why is it sad? Because if you don't do your homework, you participate beautifully here, but you don't pass to the next level. Right now, we can do it. We can still do it. Teacher, can I check the other homework that is in the past? Sure, go ahead and do it. Check the one that you have 80% so you can pick it up and get a better score, okay? Do the ones that you haven't done so that you get a good, good score. My interest, my concern is that you learn, that you practice, and that you move to the next level because you know. See, we don't play, we don't waste time. We are working and working and working because I want you to learn. That's that's a reason why. Okay, my dear one, thank you very much for attending. God bless you, take care of yourselves. I will be seeing you tomorrow and tomorrow is the last day of the week, okay? It's a question with the homework okay. is, um, when we complete the the exercise for for lecture, only only send only send it mm -hmm. complete it send it that's it and that is added adding 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 okay. adding the market the check yes yes because imagine that you have five pieces of homework a week. If you yeah. have only three, you have 60%. If you have all the 10, you have 100%, right? Okay. Because them is 20%. If you okay. have five in one piece of homework, maybe you will get a, no, 90, something like that. So, and do, mm -hmm. In the sign that we finished the, the homework is check the green color. Green color tells you that it's correct. Yeah, usual. Okay. And you say Thank it. you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Take care, my friends. Sleep Thank well. You. Yes. See you tomorrow. Thank okay. you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Be good. Well, see you. Be good. Bye. Bye. Take care.